your own saline spray is easy to do. All you need is some amber bottles. I get these on amazon.com. They need to be nice and sterile along with the pot that you're gonna be using to boil your water. You wanna make sure this is free of any food debris, super clean. I even pre-boil some water in it and then throw it away to start fresh. The ingredients are pretty simple. You'll need some good quality sea salt, baking soda, eight ounces of purified water or spring water. You'll need some nice amber glass bottles with the nasal spray top. I get these on Amazon. And of course, you'll need a pot to boil your water. I'm going to place my one cup of water in my small pot and bring it up to boil. Meanwhile, I've measured out my quarter teaspoon of sea salt. To this, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little pinch of baking soda, just a pinch. Now that our water is boiling nicely, we're gonna shut off the heat and stir in our combination of sea salt and baking soda. Just be sure to stir it really well to make sure that you've dissolved all the salt. And we're going to pour our solution back into the glass measuring cup with a handy spout and let it cool to room temperature. So now that our saline solution has cooled down to room temperature, we're just going to pour it into our little bottles here. And then you'll just want to put the caps on. So here are my saline spray bottles all ready to go. I usually keep one out and refrigerate the others as well as any leftover solution. I just put in a glass jar, a sterile glass jar and refrigerate it. This will last for a few days. Ideally, bacteria wise, you want to throw out any unused portion after a few days and then switch to your next fresh bottle from the fridge. I hope you enjoy making your own homemade nasal spray. It's fun and easy and saves a lot of money. Barley water is some pretty amazing stuff. I can't believe that a drink that is so easy and simple to make with just two ingredients, barley and water, can be so nutritious. So first you'll wanna choose a good quality barley. I'm using this organic 365 brand from Whole Foods Market and it doesn't specify whether it's hulled barley or pearl barley, but I believe it's hulled. Here I have one quarter cup of barley that was rinsed really well and then soaked in water to cover overnight. You can skip this step, but it helps to reduce the anti-nutrients that are naturally occurring in all grains. For soaked barley, use three cups of water to cook it, and if you're not soaking it, you'll need four cups of water. So I'm going to drain the soaked barley, then place it in a medium saucepan. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add three cups of water. Bring this up to a boil over medium-high heat. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to turn the heat down to simmer on low, lightly covered for 40 to 50 minutes or until the barley is nice and soft. After 40 to 50 minutes, you'll be left with about two servings of the barley water. If you'd like a larger portion, just double the recipe. I'm gonna pour this into a nice glass mason jar. I'm using my handy stainless steel canning funnel. I love this thing, it's great for soups. Place a small strainer inside the canning funnel to catch the grains of barley. We're going to strain them out and you can use them in another recipe. You can save them and use them in soup or make a salad out of them. We wanna get just the cooking liquid for our barley water. I love that pink color. I'm gonna get every last little drop of this barley water. It's like liquid gold. And this strainer is pretty great. It's actually used to make miso soup where you put miso paste inside of it and dilute it into miso soup. Very handy. So here's the strained out barley. I'm just going to put this in a covered container and store it in the fridge. And you can enjoy the barley water warm or you can chill it if you like. And you can flavor it with a little squeeze of lemon juice and sweetener like natural sugar or honey, or just enjoy it straight up. I love that barley water is so simple to make with just two ingredients. It's nutritious and has so many health benefits. Now you'll see that the thicker part of the barley water settled to the bottom of the jar, but that's no problem. Just before you enjoy drinking it, simply take a spoon, stir it up, and it's good to go. Another great aspect of barley is that it helps to lower cholesterol levels. This is because it contains a type of fiber called beta-glucan. 
Personally, I love the flavor of barley water. It's just a simple, fresh, clean, wholesome taste. I think you're going to love it. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you try it and what you think of it. Getting enough calcium in your diet is really important. It's the most abundant mineral in our body. Not only is it important for keeping our bones and teeth strong, but calcium also plays a role in maintaining healthy nerves, muscles, and an ideal body weight, as well as supporting a healthy heart. Calcium is found in foods such as dairy products and dark leafy green vegetables. But consuming enough of these foods to meet your recommended daily allowance of calcium can be challenging. Supplementing with calcium is a great way to make sure you're getting enough. One inexpensive way to do this is to make your own DIY eggshell calcium powder. It's a perfect form of calcium since eggshells are made mostly of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is what makes up our teeth, nails, and bones. Just one teaspoon of eggshell powder provides around 900 milligrams of calcium. Eggshells also contain magnesium, selenium, protein, and other nutrients that are great for bone and joint health. Studies show that consuming eggshell calcium increases bone density and can also help to reduce pain from arthritis while promoting the growth of cartilage. Making eggshell calcium at home saves money and it minimizes waste. So let me show you how easy it is to make your own eggshell calcium. I don't go through eggs really quickly, so I save my eggshells in a Ziploc bag in my freezer. But if you go through eggs more quickly, you can save them in a container in the refrigerator for up to five days. Before I freeze them, I give them a good rinse. Once you've collected a dozen shells or so, you can make a batch of eggshell calcium. You'll need a medium-sized saucepan, a baking sheet, and either a coffee grinder or a Vitamix blender to grind them into powder. So first I'm going to sterilize the eggshells by placing them in my medium saucepan and covering them with water. I'm going to sort of guesstimate since my shells got a little frozen together and broke and it's hard to tell exactly what's a dozen shells, but I'm going to say that's roughly a dozen. I'm going to boil them for about 15 minutes and then drain them. Be sure to watch your eggshells carefully as it comes up to a boil because I just had a big poof of foam that almost overflowed. You can always skim off the scum that rises to the surface. While we're waiting for the eggshells to boil, I just want to mention egg quality. I always try to get pasture-raised eggs, and if you can find eggs from chickens that were not fed soy as part of their diet, that's even better. If your eggs come from healthier chickens, that will ensure that you're getting maximum nutrition in your eggshells. Now preheat your oven to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the boiled eggshells on a baking sheet in a single layer. Bake them in the preheated oven for 20 minutes. Remove them from the oven and let them cool completely. To grind them, place the prepared eggshells in your coffee grinder or Vitamix blender. Some people swear by the coffee grinder method to make the finest powder, but I find that the Vitamix does a good job as well. So there's our powder. It 
it's not as perfectly fine as it's going to get in a coffee grinder. So really, if you want it super fine, I would run it through a coffee grinder. Now, another option for this powder is that you can actually put this into capsules. So just basically measure out however much you want to take in a day, whether it be a half teaspoon or a teaspoon, and just fill little capsules with this mixture. That way the texture won't even be an issue. Pour the eggshell powder into a glass jar, covering it tightly with a lid. Store it in a cool, dry place for up to one month. You can always write down the date on the jar to keep track of when it will expire. Use anywhere between a half teaspoon and a teaspoon a day, depending on your calcium needs. You can divide this into two or three doses and mix it into food or a little water or juice. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own DIY eggshell calcium powder. It saves money, cuts down on waste, and it's an easy way to get enough calcium in your diet. Comment below with any questions and let me know whether you might try making your own eggshell calcium powder. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, share it with someone who might benefit from it, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!